Hi guys, so what I have to share today are my personal thoughts on the LEGO Lighthouse from 2010. Now unfortunately some parts are missing of the set as I have used them in other builds over time. Now with the whole general structure and, and the whole general design with this, I feel that LEGO has done a great job with the, uh, the whole design and the uh, playability and play functions in this and, and the realism. I do like the, the realism with these rocks being here used to create a base for the building. Um, fortunately, no rocks extending down here. I really wish that it would have been. It would have been a lot better if they could have had uh, placed some rocks here rather than just doing it for one side. But that's okay for me. Um, I, I do like the whole uh, design, the whole color design with this. The the red and the white was just compulsory, and I really do like this uh, gray and the light. In the dark gray here, light gray, dark gray here. I feel it looks really nice with the the whole um, the whole colors of the rocks. So that's uh, really nice. Blends in very very nicely. And as well, I do really like the whole design and the whole use of adding in the black over here. And we've got the black on the top here. So it looks really nice. Actually, it looks very nice. Um, very. Uh, nice way, nice, nice color to things that they have added. Um, I, they have this pier over here, and they actually do give us a boat. And fortunately, with the boat, it has been taken apart, and I'm trying to get this all put together again. So when I do find all the parts to put this together again, I will be making a separate review on this. So the whole concept is to have a boat here, and it'll just come up here and you could just park here and you'd have your fisherman driving and he would just get out um, over here. So that's a really, again, a really cool, a lot of, um, a really cool play function that they've added. So that's a uh, really cool, a lot of great playability, uh, extends and adds in a lot of imagination, inspires you to use imagination, and you can basically play out any scenes that you want. I've added in uh, this, pole over here with this life-saving device over here so that's really nice um, brings in again a lot of realism and they've got this grill over here so if your fisherman catches a fish maybe he can just fry it on the grill and make himself a, a nice meal and now that's it Bas that's basically it for the outside and now we shall take a look on the inside oh and by the way i forgot to mention I really do like this door. It's a very, very classical door, very old and medieval style door that they've added in. So that's really nice. And I as well do like this uh, gold window over here. That's it's a really cool play. It's a really cool addition that they've added in. So to get access to the inside, you just have to open this up and uh, you know, you want to let your mini forget and you just have to open this door and he can come in. So, uh, that, that's really cool. A pretty small but a very nice uh, stove over here. This, um, this, uh, cooking, this bench over here. Some, not, not really sure what this actually is. It reminds me of some stove or some cooking bench basically here. And uh, this whole space is really empty uh, for the hole. Oh. Oops, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Sometimes it happens, sometimes this door, because it's really old, it sometimes falls off, so I just gotta push it back in again. Um, with this area, I assume this is a sort of a resting area over here. There's, they've got this uh, small bench over here, and they've got this ladder over here, which is very realistic because you can have because you can really imagine that there's been some technical jam or something and you could have your lighthouse keeper or or someone coming uh, uh, Climbing up this ladder to fix the technical to fix the issue. So that's really nice um, This bench over here is pretty good addition and I really would have liked if they could have added in a bed or something over here and they've as well 
uh, got that piece, got those uh, red pieces over over here. So I do assume this could be some place where you can put your tools over here and uh, put your tools over here to fix the technical issues. So that's pretty much it for the inside. I really again wish that they could have added in a bed or something because if they would have had a bed some somewhere here it would have made a lot it would have made this set uh, would have made the inside a lot better so I'm not saying it's bad I'm saying it's really good but just a few little additions could have um, could have made this a lot better so very nice inside again few additions could have made it better so now we shall take a look at the lighting and the whole lighting functioning system so you've got this piece over here and this actually extends to make the light spin itself so just push this down right here and you can actually spin this and it looks really good at night so I'll just go and I'll close the and I'll close the windows and I will show you what it looks like in darkness This is the whole mechanism inside. We've got this bolt, this um, this uh, bolt piece over here, which which makes this thing spin, and you've got these connector pieces to help it to hold it together. And here is as well how it works. So just put this. You can just move this one here and that would roll up against this one and causing this to move and speaking of that I want to get you a better view of it this is a very nice mirror that they've added here and that's it there you have it uh, spinning like that so uh, triggers that to spin and here is the mirror itself it's a uh, very nicely done it's done with actually stickers so that's uh that's really nice and now i do want to show you the light brick that they've added in just push this one and it emits light so here it is from a close-up view and you just push down here to activate it So all in all, that is a very, very great mechanism that they have added in. Oh, and here could be a better view to get you a... Uh... This is how it works. As it's a bit hard to get the camera in, but you can actually see it a bit through the window here. So I must say that is a very, very great technique, great way, great engineering that LEGO has applied to make this an actual, actual lighthouse with the actual light, with the light brick over here and the spinning function. I must say that it is just awesome. I, I absolutely, I love this function. This has got to be one of the best functions that LEGO has ever done. The lighthouse keeper has blue pants and it looks really nice and the blue pants look really nice fitting a nice combo with this um, with this torso over here the blue pants and the blue shirt underneath there got the the orange jacket type of a hoodie and the face that Lego has added on him is actually a pretty unusual face I haven't seen this face as often in the 
in uh, recent LEGO sets, so this is a bit of a unusual face. The seagull in this set is a small but a very nice build, a uh, very nice way that they had represented a seagull. I do like these horns that they had used, these uh, spike pieces that they had used for the wings, made by a one by one block, and the one by one, the circle piece here, uh, slow piece and a hinge piece for the mouth. So all in all, uh, very small, very small, but a very nice way of making a bird. So all in all, I think this is personally a great set. Personally, I like the whole, the whole main realism, the whole structure, oops, uh, the whole structure for this build. I like the colors that they had used. I feel the patterns really match. The colors really match with the uh, the gray, light gray, dark gray, and light gray, and with the rocks really match. Again, the rocks add in a lot of realism. I really wish that they could have added rocks over here, and I really wish that they could have added in a bed. Uh, just a little bit of some some improvements that they could take in for next time. So all in all, this is an awesome build. The play functions are really cool here. I do like the, this has got to be one of my favorite play features of all time. The spinning, the uh, the actual working function here. So that's that's really nice. I do like the, the way the whole technique that they had used, one of the best techniques. I will put this boat together and I will be making a separate review. So what are your thoughts on this set? Personally, I think this is an awesome build. I'll recommend this for anyone. I mean, this is a retired set, but if you do find it at a good price, I recommend. I strongly recommend you buy this. Uh, this is an, all in all, this is an awesome play set for kids, adults, for anyone. So those are my personal thoughts on this set. Uh, what do you think about this? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And that's all I have to talk to you about today. Thanks very much for watching this video. And I look forward to speaking to you again as soon as I can.